Hello everyone, I'm Ashok. Welcome to another video on Machine Learning Data Science Terminology Series. In this video, we will discuss about cross entropy. Cross entropy is one of, a, one of the popular uh, uh, evaluation metrics for classification models, especially for binary classification, but can be used for multi-class classification as well. To show how it's used, let me just take a quick example of a use case. One, one data, let me import a simple data. So I have a data which is about students pass or fail based on their number of hours they are studying. Most of the students, I mean, when I was a student, so we only study when the exam is in just next few days, all right? So the number of hours you study before the exam really, really matters. All right, so this has only two columns, hours and pass. Hours is number of hours. So you can see that the people are studying more or a higher chance of passing. We want to visually look at it. So let me plot it from using matplotlib. I have to say inline. I'm going to use scatter plot. Say data pass data pass category, sorry all right so you can see that um you know zero and one one for pass zero for fail the people who are studying less than nine hours seems to be failing the exam and who study more number of hours it seems to be passing the exam so very simple uh, data just to show the idea and uh, for the learning purpose the usual the the, the regular data is the the norm the data which we use for for, for, for normal use cases or much more complex and you have a, you will normally have a lot of predictors it's just a very simple data for learning purpose so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit this model using logistic regression machine learning algorithm so that's one of the, the classification algorithms you can find that in sklearn linear model because it is generalized one of the generalized linear models so I'm going to say logistic regression and then say model.fit. So before that, let me take x and y. x is equal to data LOC. I'm taking all the records. And y is data pass. And I'm going to say x comma y. Capital P. Well, there is a warning saying that future some default things will be changed. You can ignore that. So the model has been fitted with logistic regression. And uh, I could now uh, test the model. I mean, let me draw this the sigmoid curve, this curve, how, how, how this curve is being fitted. For that, I need to create some sample data that can be done by using NumPy and say, I'm going to say x gen is equal to lin space. I'm going to say, let's say from some negative value because you need to have s curve. Uh, so I'm just creating number of hours of study. Negative hours of study does not make a sense, but it will give you a better s curve. I need to reshape this into 100 cos 1 because it should be two dimensional and y predict is what we're going to predict now is equal to model dot predict proba predicting the probability and I'm passing the x gen okay done so let me plot it using scatter plot again x gen oh sorry x gen comma y predict but Remember, y predict has, uh, if you look at how is this y predict is, so it will have a probability of failing and probability of pass. So the first record has 99.6% probability of failing, and the second record has, uh, I mean, the other value, it's like 0 0.003, uh, which is about 0.3% of passing. So obviously, it's, it's a failure. But when you see it after certain numbers, you, you can see certain numbers, you have 70%, let's say 60, 50%. So this, this particular record has 58% of pass and 41% of fail. My model is going to say it is a pass because it's more than 50%, uh, sorry, it's a fail because uh, the, the, the failed percentage is 58 and the pass percentage is less than 50, all right? So this is not very clear classification. Well, the records at the top have a very clear classification. So I'm gonna take the pass percentage. So I'm gonna take this one, the, the second values of this array. For that, I can simply say 
take all the records from the second of the array and then why predict is not defined oh sorry i missed an r here okay surprisingly also use the same mistake again <laughs> okay so now you see the s curve and um, you know let me just take a graphical way of doing things like okay, this better can use my pencil okay So when I fit a logistic regression, a sigmoid curve, S curve, so you could have something like this. There should, be, there could be a, a, you know, S curve being fitted like this. Okay, or there could be an S curve which is fitting like this. Okay, and this is your 0.5 line. This is your 0.5 line. Both the cases, you can see that you get 100% accuracy if you look at the data because uh, all of these are classified as 1 and all of these are classified as 0 in the first case. This is the case 1. Even in the case 2, you have the same. All of these are classified as 1 and all of these are classified as 0 because this is a 50% point. So you can see it's a plate classification. From an accuracy perspective, you don't see any difference. You get 100% accuracy in both the cases because it's pretty straightforward data. But if you really see, this particular graph is more confident or more, more clear, more confident. Okay. When compared to this, this is a little bit confused. There's a little bit of confusion. Okay. Why? Because you can see that this point, okay, so this point is supposed to be actually uh, the probability is supposed to be 1 because it's actually a, a positive, but it land up getting about, let's say, 0. 0.6, roughly 0. 0.6. So this is actually an error. If you look from that perspective, this is an error. The green line showing there is an error. Okay. In a similar way, this point has an error this much, this point has an error this much, this much. And in a similar manner, in the negative side as well, these are all errors. Okay. And what cross entropy does? It simply calculates the log of these errors and then it takes a, a sum of it, an average of it. So the cross entropy is a log of these losses or errors, average of the, the log of all the errors. So it's also called as, for that reason, log loss. Cross entropy, entropy in, in terms of binary classification is, can be called as log loss. When you say log loss or cross entropy, it's one and the same. In fact, in sklearn, we have a function called log loss or cross entropy. How does it work? Well, you can simply see uh, uh, the, the formula for cross entropy is the formula for cross entropy is okay. So um, it, it calculates minus of y log of p which is the probability over here plus 1 minus y into log of 1 minus p it has two terms but you can see that only one term will one term will be effective at any given point of time for example if you take this dot okay your y is actually one and the probability what you calculated is 0.6 you put it in the formula what you get is um, y is equal to 1 which means this entire term gets 0 so this becomes inactive 1 minus y 1 minus 1 is actually 0 the only what you have is minus log of this which is nothing but minus 1 1 is just you know, 1 multiplied by anything is 1 log of 0 0.6 and when you do the log of 0 0.6 if you, you can just use uh, google and do a log of I can also do it in of course we have numpy so log of 0.6 minus 
So minus of minus get cancels. This results in 0.51. So this 0.51 is a log loss. The log loss of this point is actually 0.51. Okay. If you take the this point, let's say this is about 0.2. Okay. And this point I'm talking about now. So if you put this this uh, this point into this formula, your y is equal to zero, which is actually supposed to be zero, and the probability is 0.2. When y is equal to zero, this entire term becomes zero. So your final equation becomes one minus y into log of one minus p. Again, one minus y, y zero. This 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 becomes one. So it's actually minus log of one minus p. Which is one minus point two, which results in minus log of point eight. So let's go to that, and I put point eight. You get some negative value, which is actually point two two minus minus get cancels, and then you become point two two. So the value for this is actually log loss is point two two. Likewise, we calculate a log loss of every single data point and we take an average of it and that's what we call it as cross entropy okay the ultimate formula becomes you just take an average this is the number of things and you say an average n is equal to one two and it's called capital one or i is equal to one two i is equal to capital one so this is your formula for cross entropy and what cross entropy does it tells you how in fact, the word entropy means it's a measure of randomness or measure of how uncertain it is. So it's giving you a measure of how certain your model is. If you do a cross entropy for this, if you really have something like this, you will have almost zero. Because if, if we look at this point, for example, in this case, uh, the y is equal to one. Probability is also near to one. So sorry, y is equal to one for this point, for example, let's say. And the probability is also equal to one because it's almost passing through that line. So if you put this formula, y is equal to one, this term becomes um, you know uh, zero. So minus y of log p, the p is one, log of one is actually zero. So your entropy for this, the log loss, is equal to zero. So ultimately, all of these terms actually become zero. So cross entropy for this this particular model might be just zero or very less value for this model cross entropy would be somewhere around let's say 0.3 or something so this cross entropy is equal to 0.3 near to that so this is this is actually uh, more clearer because it's you're, you're getting an idea about how clear your model is right in terms of simple accuracy, with the zero on one classification, you only know whether your data has been rightly classified or uh, not rightly classified or wrongly classified. But cross entropy gives you a measure of how right you are. And that's what the entropy actually means. All right, so that hope that uh, is clear. I also leave this uh, simple code in the description. I'll put it in the GitHub and, and, and leave it to you for you to play with. Okay, if you have more questions on cross entropy, please leave it on the comments. I shall, I, sh I shall do my best to answer all of that. Thank you very much. If you like this channel, please subscribe and click notification. I will see you in the next video.